discharged from the entire prosecution or put it in other words he should be also discharged for offenses in ipc as there is no sanction accorded by sanctioning authority under 197 in orshima turn to 38 question number 2 roman at the foot is it permissible for the special court to proceed against the appellant is 252 bottom row is it that's a question is it permissible for the special court to proceed against the appellant for offenses under ipc despite the fact that sanction under 19 of the pc act to prosecute is not in record and declined this is a case of 19 milot so 19 is a blanket milot 19 is a blanket milot provision that if you don't have sanction you can't proceed 17 is minder that you know 19 is not absolutely blanket but she desired that she could see 19 yes 19 is blanket you cannot prosecute a public servant unless you have sanction it doesn't talk about will not relatable to public office this that is so 19 was not there the argument was that if 19 is not there how are you proceeding will not be the special court now will not be also finds turn to 53 That's the lot. The submission starting the lot on question number two. The argument by counsel that the sanction of 19 has not been granted. Appellant cannot be prosecuted for offences under IPC alone, and he should be discharged. Turn to 56 million. Offence 56 million. Para 56. Offences under IPC and offences under so and so are distinct. What is important to consider whether the offence is one reason or other. Punishment under IPC is also required to be approved in relation to offences punishable under the PC Act. Six. Then it also turns straight to sixty. Thus, although the final will not finding of this court, thus although in the present case the appellant has been discharged for offences under PC Act, yet for IPC he can be proceeded further in the court as well. So he will be proceeded there itself. You know, going here and going there. There is below one more judgment. No, there is no dispute with regard to this proposition. Their argument is that if a PC Act goes, then the very foundation of going to the uh, special court under PC Act and the remand order that also will go. That also had to be the great respect. That, that's their argument. Yeah, maybe, but below if there is an argument of cheating, forget below PC Act. It is an argument of cheating. Cheating is 420. It can exist with PC Act. 420 can't go. No, 420 won't go. I'll go to the magistrate. So if 4, 4, but whether it has to be taken out of the car. How can it be? Below when 43 says you go there, 43 would have said if this happens, you go out again. And what will happen is there are five public servants below. Kindly appreciate. It will create a chaos. There is one more judgment which I give you. Yes, please. PCI goes. I am only placing the law in my submission. Yes. PCI can't go. This is only allowed as a submission. Huh? That's very important. I am not conceding that PCI goes. I am saying even if their conclusion is reached, Lord. We are just stressing your argument in the light of. Ah, uh, correct, correct. So my argument is, Lord, PCI does not go in the facts of this case. The idea is to they have idea is to scuttle it within five days. It doesn't go, but I am only Lord going to the extreme that if it goes, then what happens? That's what I am answering. There is one more direct judgment on this. Please, you also may know. Give copies. This is Milad Vivek Gupta's case. Milad Para One. Para One. Just one minute. Yes. Milad, you also may add it, Milad, in in this index. It is not in that index. No. Add the. Yeah, by law. By law. Yes. Kindly see me, Lord Paravan. In 
in this appeal by special leave, the core question will arise in consideration whether the appellant can be charged and tried together with other two accused by the special judge under PC Act in view of the fact that the appellant has been charged only under 420 and 120 while the other two have been have been additionally charged ha, ha, have been last have been additionally charged yes. of the offense under 32 etc under IB state light the appellant it's contained the bottom. Ha, the correct. Bottom. so his case was I am only under 420 other two fellows may be there why are you dragging me there that was the argument but the answer is paragraphs 14 and 15 The only narrow question which remains to be answered is whether any other person who charged with the same offence with which the co-accused is charged but which is not the offence of 3 can be tried with the co-accused. We are of the view that because of 4.3 authorizes special judge to try etc. etc. Then 4.3 is mentioned, section 230, 2.23 is mentioned and the last line of that para applying section 3 and 4 and 2.22.23 must be held that the apparent co-accused may be tried by the special judge in the same trial. This is because the co-accused of uh, co accused appellant have also been charged with offenses special in section 3, must be tried special judge, who in view of 4 3, read with 220, may also try them of the charge in the book. All the three accused, including the appeal, have been charged in a 120, 420. The special judge jurisdiction to try the co accused under 420, then obviously this fellow will also be tried. So there is no doubt now that Milord person charged purely with Milord non PC will also be tried. And that other judgment is on the proposition that if Milad one fails, he will still retain or it will be Milad a ping pong. He cannot be Milad. That's not the object of the law. But this is not to say Milad that I am conceding his head. I am showing, showing the legal position. Now we go Milad straight to the question. Now in this case, there are 36 other accused. He is A37. My Lord will know. There are several accused who are public servants. So, my lord, for some the allegation may be prior, for some the allegation may be later. All this will remain in a jumble if, my lord, this back and forth has to be done. So, it cannot be done. They all are public servants? So, a lot of them. Not all, my lord, a lot of them. Lot of them. A single 17A sanction. No now, now, my lord, now, now, my lord, I want to, I will just address your issue briefly on 17A. Lord, kindly have Lord 17A for a second. And please note, my Lord, before I read, this act was, my Lord, amended wholesale in the year 2018. My Lord will note that, my Lord, your Lordships are aware. Section 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, everything is amended. And for example, my Lord, not necessary to read it, but for example, if your Lordship will see, my Lord, see, my Lord, for example, 8, my Lord. I'm not going to read it. I just want to show you the wholesale amendments. C7, my Lord. C8, my Lord. In fact, my Lord, if your Lordship sees from 6, uh, from section 7, section 8, all this, your Lordship will find an asterisk on the top of the section. All the asterisks at the bottom will show you that the amendment, my Lord, is of 26th of July 18. So there is a wholesale amendment of the Act. And 17A is a new insertion and not an amendment which came with the package. I am calling it the new package. The new package is a wholesale amendment with, my Lord, a new section. But, my Lord, because of Article 21, the old package, using the phrase old package, the old package prior to 18 of the offenses, my Lord, under 8, 9, 10, because the old package is there, it's not, my Lord, gone. The old package will apply to the offenses covered by the old package. I'll make it very simply, my Lord. Old package and offenses relating to the old package. 
will be governed by that law. Otherwise, there will be a violation of Article 28. The new package in which 17A has a Lord Bond, the new package will deal with the new offenses. So, my lord, the old package, which is prior to 18, I'm paraphrasing now, the old package prior to 18 of the PC Act, my lord, will deal with offenses which have occurred when the old package was operating. So, my lord, offenses of 2015, 16, 17, or early 18, will be governed by the old package, which is, my lord, prior to 2018. If there are, my lord, offenses which occur after the new package comes in, they will be governed by the new package. And the new package means, my lord, the amended sections and what is born along with the amended section, which is 17. It's as simple as that. So, therefore, my lord, in the facts of this case, the offenses relate to a period much prior to 18, number one. Therefore, it will be governed by the old package and not belowed by the new package or 17A which came in with the new package. That's the first thing. The second thing, Lord, if your Lordship now sees Lord 17A and Lord on this question, whether offenses prior to 17A or, or of the old package and will not be governed by 17A is also no longer a Tigra. I will show you judgments below. Section 13 also was amended. Everything is amended now. Wholesale amendment. He is charged under the old section. Let's be very clear now. He can't be charged under the new section because the law is when you commit an offense, on that day the law prevailing. Have you specified anywhere? Sorry. Have you specified anywhere that they have been charged under the old uh, old uh, offense? Yes, yes. There's no dispute of that. But please take it. For example, Rohat Ghi, yes. suppose he is charged with substantive offenses. Sorry? Yes. Uh, on the date of the occurrence. Yes. The law applicable on the date of occurrence is the law which is applicable. Yes. But subsequently a law comes. Is it easy? Is it easy? By which